Hey guys, it's Rachel. I would like to invite you to a special collaboration video that I am making. I would like to see where you get opportunities to take photos and videos in your local area of the world. I love to travel and I don't get all the opportunity that I would like to go different places. So I'm inviting you to invite me over to your place. <laughs> so uh, yeah, February 8th, 2020 is the big meetup. If, uh, if you could go out on that day and take some photos or videos in your local area and, uh, and share them with me and I'm going to be sharing them with, uh, with people on my YouTube channel. If February 8th doesn't work for you, then you're not off the hook. Then you have all of the month of February to, uh, to do this because I would really, really like to visit. Okay guys, thanks for joining me and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. down for these long little shots and it's, it's easy to get down well yeah, it's not so easy to get back up anymore so the little flip screen perfect uh, there's a car coming now so i'm going to feel like a right muppet here if it pulls up beside of me please keep going please keep going please keep going please keep going, please keep going, please keep going. go 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 beautiful <laughs> and welcome back to an absolutely stunning incredible dawn in New Zealand now this is the 8th of February 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 this is the 8th of, this is the 8th of Feb and thanks to a lady in Canada a photographer in Canada called Rachel Lurch we are doing a bit of a collaboration whereby a number of photographers youtubers we are we are showcasing our work on one particular day wherever we are and in my case i'm in new zealand and this morning i'm on the stunning tomato park and my subject is over there that is tomato tomato peak it's a stunning place i've various videos from here uh, i'll link to a few in the bottom it's just a beautiful place had some incredible weather of late. I mean, we're, t we're talking sort of way into the 30s. It's been absolutely beautiful. Absolutely loving it. The forecast for this morning, to be fair, was quite grim. When I say grim, I mean grim by our standards. Cloudy. I mean, do I shoot the sunrise? Do I shoot the sunset? What do I do? Do I do a bit of street photography? Whatever. And I thought, now, I've had a busy week photographing people. I've been down at, what, three concerts. I've been to a, a local band called Fat Freddy's Drop. Very good. I've been to Michael Bublé, which I wasn't particularly... I've never... I've heard of the guy, but I've never actually photographed the guy or, or heard about him or heard his music. Anyway, went to the concert. Bloody hell, he was... He was fantastic. Canadian guy, actually. Canadian, Rachel. So there you go. One for you. Well done, Canadians. He was fantastic, really good. Got some nice shots from that. And then on Thursday, it's now it's now Saturday morning, so on Thursday we had the first Elton John concert at the Mission. We've got two, uh, one in a couple of weeks' time, the other one on Thursday. And that was just, wow. I mean, Elton, 70 odd years old, man, if I can sort of sing, I can't even talk like that now. I just no idea, not, not a clue. He's, he's the bomb, he's the man. 
Uh, fantastic concert, great crowd, made some nice photographs. 25, 30,000 people here, just, I uh, love it. So, anyway, wa waffling. The last couple of weeks, photographing people. And today, when, I, when I've got a bit of downtime, I like to do a bit of landscape photography. And that's what I decided to do this morning for this uh, little collaboration uh, video. Now, if you've not checked out any of Rachel's work, I'll link to Rachel's channel below. I'm sure you've all heard of Rachel. Uh, Rachel's channel it is fantastic she's an incredible photographer an incredible she just I don't know she's just got this this thirst for life this zest for life she's really passionate about things and she it comes across in the video she's upbeat bubbly everything that I'm not actually good looking tall talented yeah but anyway I am where I am we may get a bit of light on the on the hill there there is quite a lot of cloud about, but it's worked in my favour because dawn was, oh man, as you can see from the uh, the footage, dawn was beautiful, absolutely, the sky, the sky was on fire, it was stunning, absolutely glorious. Now, I'm going to hang about, I've got maybe another 40 minutes now before the actual sun pops its nose up above the horizon, and when it does, I'm hoping the first shafts of light are going to hit the peak there. Uh, and with us having with us having a bit of cloud over the top, fantastic. Now settings wise, I'm, I'm using my little Fuji X100F, which I absolutely love. Which I will be, uh, I've got to be honest, they've just announced the X100V, and I've got to be honest with you, as soon as that baby comes out, fat boy's having it. I'm having some of that. It looks stunning. The main benefit of that camera uh, that I've been sort of wanting for a while is that it's got a flip screen on the back. Flip screen, never really fancied them. The old knees, they're getting older, you know, man, and, and you get sort of crouched down for these low angle shots, and it's, it's easy to get down, bloody hell, it's not so easy to get back up anymore. So, the little flip screen, perfect. Uh, there's a car coming now, so I'm going to feel like a right muppet here if it pulls up beside of me. Please keep going, please keep going, please keep going, please keep going, go, 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 go. Beautiful, okay, out of the way. Uh, ISO 100, F11, I managed to get to F11. Uh, and I've got run about 28 seconds out of it, which gives me a nice little bit of movement in the clouds above. It looks beautiful. Nice, nice and soft movement in the clouds. Stunning. Love it. As soon as the sun does come up, I will be putting on a... Oh, light's gone out. It must be getting light. I've put on my Nissi holder, filter holder kit. And as soon as the sun comes up, I'll be putting on my uh, 0.9 soft grad just to... And bring down the sky a little bit other than that uh, maybe maybe put my tent stop on if we get some strong light again just to get some movement in the clouds uh, that's to be arranged i don't know so listen guys uh, if this is your first time to my channel thanks for joining uh, feel free to give us a like a thumbs up a subscribe would be grand uh, i'm fast approaching ridiculously low numbers I'm going to check out because I've got a little stuff to do, you know. I, I might have myself a little coffee before the sun comes up. But all I can tell you is what an absolutely banging morning we've got here. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the best thing is, this is my first day off of four days off. So that's fantastic. So guys, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of cloud. I don't know how long I'm going to have to wait until we get uh, until we get the sun coming out to light up this scene. So far, I'm quite impressed. Uh, dawn photographs, beautiful. Such a beautiful park is this get mountain bikers walkers runners everything first light in a line they're on it and then there's me sat down chilling out waiting for a little bit of light that probably is not going to come actually if i'm honest i can't see it coming it's just not happening it wants to but i want it to it's not going to happen uh, so in the meantime what i'm going to do i'm going to finish my coffee pack my gear away and then i'm going to have a have a bit of a walk might as well spend a bit of time walking around the park and uh, getting energetic.
Alright guys, on my walk, the sun's coming out a little bit milky. I'm gonna try and get a shot here. This will be my last, this will be my last shot of the day. ISO 100 F11. Around about 30th of a second. Basically nothing special. Just this uh, just this wet sweat grass leading out to Mount Eden on the horizon. Might be quite a nice shot. I'm just waiting for that little bit of light. Just get a little bit of light, we're cracking. So that light is trying. Trying my patience. I want to give it another 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We may get a slight break, just a slight break. And when we do, if we do, I'm having it. Right, so it's two days later. As you can see, I'm back in the van. Now, on the day, I recorded the closer to the video up on the hill. Unfortunately, I didn't secure the dead rat cat thing to the onboard mic and unfortunately the audio was ruined. The wind picked up really bad and it, it was just, the audio was unusual. So that's gone burger. So I'm back in the van. I'm putting the video together on my little laptop there. It's quite a slow process. Premier Pro keeps crashing for some stupid reason. It's giving my head in. So in closing, I'd just like to say, uh, Big thank you once again to Rachel Lurch and all the other collaborants, collaborants, people who have collaborated in this uh, little collaboration. A lot of collabs here. I hope you've enjoyed sitting through my 8th of February. Uh, I certainly enjoyed it. Thanks once again for watching. Cheers, guys. Out. <laughs>